Hi guys, my name is Karthik and I am from azureautomation.com and welcome to another video from Azure Automation. And today we're going to talk about an all new ASP.NET Core 6.0's minimal API feature. So ASP.NET Core's minimal API is a low footprint and super mini sized project type helps to develop an API with less code. This is the amazing feature of ASP.NET Core itself. You will quickly understand if I really talk about this particular ASP.NET Core with a quick comparison with the usual ASP.NET Core Web API project versus the ASP.NET Core Minimal API project. You can see on the left hand side, the ASP.NET Core Web API is the normal usual uh, API code, which actually has got what is called as a controllers and has got a program.cs file, a startup.cs file. And if you have any model like weatherforecast.cs, it's going to be the model for you. But if you see on the right hand side, the all new ASP.NET Core Minimal API has got only a program.cs file and the startup.cs file or the controller.cs file uh, and the model file. Of course, there is no on this particular demo. But yes, you, you can see that the two classes, two class files are missing like controllers and the startup.cs file. I mean, you can add if you wanted to, but with the minimal API, you will see that those files will be missing. This is one of the amazing thing about the minimal API. And if you see the code itself for the minimal API, you will see that the code is going to look something like this, where it is going to call the create builder. Uh, uh, and then within the builder, it's going to call the build method. And then if it is a development environment, then you run these uh, settings. If not, you can directly call the API, something like that. And you can see there is something like app.mapget method, which is going to point out to the controller that you're going to be talking about. So map get is going to be the get. And if there is map post is going to put for the post, but you can quickly see that within this particular code, there are something missing. Like where is the main method? What happened to the host builder or where are the controller decorators? All those things are completely gone in this code. Well, you might have seen that the C sharp nine, which was introduced recently has got a lot of new feature. C sharp 10 is coming up pretty soon as well. The main method which is gone is mainly because there is something called as a top level statements of C sharp nine, which helps you avoid the extra ceremony required by placing your programs entry point in a static method in a class file, which we usually used to do like public static void main string of array of arcs like that. You don't really have to do all those things. So with C sharp nine, you don't really have to explicitly include a main method in a console application or in a web APIs minimal project. So this is what happened over here. And the host builder has got a new change where you can directly call the create builder method, something like this, and you can start working with it. And the controller class, which was missing on that particular scaffold project, which was created from the project template is now going to show you the code something like this if you choose the empty project type then the slash is actually going to act as a controller decorator for you so that's another great thing about this particular code so let's quickly see some more codes it's going to be something like this you can see it's going to be uh, expecting an employee and then it's going to accept a function of employee and then it's going to return an employee type and you can return a list of employees if you wanted to or you can also return an employee response type as a JSON value, something like this. So this is how the codes are going to look like. Let's quickly see everything, whatever we have seen this slide in Visual Studio 2022 preview edition directly, and we'll understand how things work. So as I told you, this is the usual uh, .NET Core Web API project, which is going to have the startup program file and all those things. You might be pretty much familiar with these codes, but I'm going to create a new project and I'm going to uh, choose the ASP.NET Core empty project. You can see this one and uh, it's already something I have used. That's why it's there in my uh, recent project templates. I'm going to choose that. I'm going to hit next and I'm going to call this as mini demo and I'm going to hit next and I'm going to choose the .NET Framework 6.0, which is currently in the preview state. And I'm going to remove the HTTP for uh, HTTPS, which I don't really require. And then I'm going to hit create. And that's going to create a super simple mini project, which is the same ASP.NET Web API project. But as you can see over here, the code is super minimal. This is the only code that you can see on the program.cs file. And there is no startup.cs file, no controller program 
all those things are gone because as i told you this is the c sharp 9.0 feature don't really require a main method for you and as i said we can start writing or probably run this code and see how it actually works so if i run this mini demo you will see that it's going to open up a browser over here and you can see that it's the hello world and let's try to add some more code so what i'm going to do i'm just going to stop this program execution and as i shown on the slide we're going to create a new model and within this particular model i'm going to probably create something like an employee model new class employee and probably just copy paste the code and this is the employee model and if i want to return this particular employee model and if i wanted to see how this code actually works then i can probably do uh, something like this like app dot map get and within this app dot map get i'm gonna call the employee so you can type something like this and you can return a function of employee and then let's open up a lambda expression and we can return a new employee where i'm gonna add the name citizenship and employee id probably something like this to close all right that's it so now let's try to run this and see if we could able to really get an employee for our response that we have so i have the code executed and you can see we have a hello world and now i'm going to access the employee and you can see that i get an employee something like this in a json response which is quite cool and then i'm going to add some more uh, details uh, something like a collections so i'm going to add a bit of collections and then i'm going to get the collection of all the uh, employees something like this so i'm going to add a class something like a employee collection uh, so these are the employees i have got over there and i'm gonna see if i could get the collection of all the employees so for doing that i'm just gonna add one more controller so you can see it is quite easy to add them i'm gonna add the list uh, and that's it that gives me a list of all the employees hopefully this code is gonna work so i'm not really gonna run this code and show you how it actually gonna work and then I'm going to add one more thing, which is going to be like getting a ID of the employee. So we can just do something like a map get of all the uh, employee who has got an ID. So I'm going to pass a parameter there. So in order to work with the parameters, we need to use something called as a sync of HTTP. So we can just do something like that. And within this particular HTTP, uh, I can start working with it. So probably what I'm going to do is I'm going to write an if condition here. So if the HTTP dot request dot uh, route value dot try get uh, of the ID. So probably out of var ID, which is if it is not equal to then probably we can give an HTTP status response code. So HTTP does status, just, you can see that it just came through, but then it's gone. 400. And then I'm just gonna return. That's one thing. And if I want to get all the uh, employees, which is, and if I want to get the particular employee, then I need to write that response in a JSON. So I'm going to do something like this. So I'm going to add the extension method, which is this one. And this is going to be coming from the link. So I'm just going to add the system.link. There you go. That's going to give us the list, uh, the particular employee that we're going to pass from the parameter value. So let's quickly run this code and see how this code is going to work. So we are launching the application. There we go and if i pass employees so we get all the different employees that we have got like hatik and prashant and if i want to get a specific employee let's say uh let's say two so it's going to give me prashant over here and if i pass one it's going to give me kartik over here which is cool so this is how we could write a very very super simple api with the minimal web api of aspnet core with dotnet 6 preview edition and with the power of C-sharp 9's feature.
So that's it guys once again thank you very much for watching this video hopefully you'll love and enjoy the new feature of microsoft offering thank you